Did you know that you get more fuel for your money when the fuel is purchased cold in the winter as opposed to when the same fuel for the same price is purchased in the summer? This is how this works. And it has nothing to do with the rising uh, prices of uh, hydrocarbons. It has to do with physics and math. What happens here is we have a container that's got seven tablespoons of liquid in it. If I heated this at room temperature, if this liquid is being heated up, the molecules in it start bouncing into each other more and more and more, and there's going to be more and more collisions as, as the liquid is being heated up and the molecules move more and more, they create more and more room around themselves. All of the little extra room around the individual molecules then translates into the liquid expanding. So when you buy warm fuel, you are paying for, say, one liter or one gallon of fuel with more space in it. Conversely, in the winter, when the molecules at cold temperature cool down and move and bounce less, the fewer collisions happen between the molecules, there is less space around the molecules. So you're buying less space for the same quantity of gas you will buy more number of molecules in cold fuel than in warm fuel. Okay, in the cold you buy more number of molecules with less space for every liter or for every gallon and in the, win in the summer you buy more space and less number of molecules. So that's why uh, in the winter for your dollar or for your money you get more matter and less space and in the summer you get less matter with more space for your money. Consequently you get better gas mileage with the cold fuel than with the hot fuel because the cold fuel contains more particles of hydrocarbon and less amount of space. And this internal space inside the fuel that changes is exactly the reason why you have information on a gas station or a gas pump like so. What this means is that the amount of fuel that you're buying is only accurate at 15 degrees. So if you're buying cold fuel, as in go get fill the car up in the morning type deal, that means that for every liter of gas you get more number of molecules with less space inside. Whatever the amount reads here, there's going to be more molecules in it with less space. And if the temperature is warmer than 15, you're going to get the same number of liters, but there's going to be fewer molecules with more space in it. The reason for it is because the volume is not measured by pouring out and then transferring to your gas tank. The volume in the gas pump is measured by a little spinning pedal wheel that's a flow meter and placed inside the gas line. The, instead of measuring the actual liters, what is measured is the number of rotations, the RPM, the number of rotations the little pedal wheel takes, and, uh, and it's just one number, say 20 rotations, equate to one liter or one gallon or whatever it is depending on how big that pedal wheel is and how big the gas line is so the number of rotations equate to number of liters appearing on the gas station uh, on the uh, display here so there is no way of it's, it's not an actual measurement of molecules and it is not an actual measurement of liters that would that would take into account temperature. 